Hello students. In this video, we are going to check how to solve game-based aptitude questions. Uh, we'll be checking in detail explanations to solve this particular type of questions. Recently, Capgemini has changed their hiring pattern and they have introduced game-based aptitude questions. So in this video, we will check in detail what exactly those questions are. But keep in mind that these are only sample questions. It does not mean that the same questions will be appearing for the exam. Similar type of questions may appear in the exam. So make sure you uh, watch this video and understand. Try to know what exactly is game based aptitude questions. So before we start, uh, just make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. We'll be posting many such important updated videos about various companies and their hiring process. So let's start. The switch challenge which you'll encounter like there will be levels uh, depending on the difficulty. So the uh, switch channel which you'll encounter is actually very easy and it would be interactive. Okay, what it means to be interactive that I'll explain. I'll also explain what is a switch challenge. Now here a diagram is given. Okay, these are some funnel. This is a funnel and these are functions of the funnel and we have to choose the right function so as to this is the input so as to make input same as the output okay this is very easy this is the first level just understand it okay it's very very easy if you know the method or uh, the what we say the process you can very easily solve the sum the only challenge over here apart from solving the sum is the time okay it is a time limit based question so very quickly you need to decipher the answer and mark over here so now the thing is either you will be asked to mark the options or directly you will be able to select the funnels or the function okay so if this is the option uh, you can directly click on this and you'll get uh, you'll move on to the next question so on the, or the next level will be unlocked okay here we'll be marking the answer but in exam it is interactive so you can choose directly the function which is correct so now how to solve this kind of question let us see very easy first of all this is the input sequence so mark them if you see the numbers are given two three 3, 1, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 1. So these numbers are nothing but this 1, 2, 3, and 4. Mark uh, the shapes, give the shapes some numbers. This would be first. It has to be in this order only 1, 2, 3, and 4. It cannot be in any haphazard order. Okay. Now, what we want is we want to make input same as output. Now, over here in the output, what is the first diagram? It is a triangle. Okay. Yellow triangle. What is the number of yellow triangle? 3. So write 3 over here. What is the next is the green circle. What is the number of green circle one I write it over here now blue cross or blue plus sign number is four. So write it over here and uh, red square. So number is two. So that means that when this input is subjected to the code three one four two to the function three one four two that is the first function you will get the output if the input is subjected to this function. Okay this function you will get this output fine so this is the answer 3142 that is option a in the level 2 of the switch challenge it becomes a little bit difficult there are like two levels okay now here also we have to find the function of the funnel used now the options over here given are based on this second level of the funnel not this one so let us see how to solve it is very easy for the second level questions instead of solving it over here i'll solve it over here i'll draw this diagram plus triangle circle and square i'll assign them numbers one two three and four now this input this input is subjected to this funnel or the first function one three four two one three four two because of this function what happens these get rearranged how first one will come then three will come that is circle then 4 will come that is a square and then 2 will come that is triangle now this is a new output it is available over here okay this output is available at this point and this output becomes the input of these four functions we have to choose the right function to get this output right so now this is the input again since this is the input again assign them 1 2 3 4 newly now this is a fresh start okay and we have to choose the function right function over here what do we want we want a circle we want a triangle plus sign and a square this is the output that we want correct now how to get it very easy how to find the answer very easy what is the number for the circle 2 right over here what is number for the triangle over here it is 4 right over here what is number for plus sign 1 and for square it is 3 so if we subject this this input 
intermediate input to the function 2413 okay will directly get this output or whatever this output right so answer is 2413 option b so in exam interactive exam you can directly click this part or you may choose option b 2413 the digit challenge over here test basic numeracy of yours right it is not difficult but there are some things that make it difficult one uh, one of them is that it is a time bound test they might give you like uh, 10 to 20 seconds to solve the question or they may give you a lump sum of 5 to 6 minutes and you have to solve as many questions as possible in these 5 to 6 minutes and based on your accuracy and how much questions you solve uh, you'll you'll i mean qualify for the next round or something like that now there are two ways you can solve this one way is you can fill in the digits given over here or the other way what they'll do is they'll show you a calculator they'll write the equation over here like this right like this equal to six and then some numbers would be here one two three and you have to directly click on the numbers they get input uh, inputted over here or they get filled over here okay or they might give you a setup like this where whenever you click a number that gets filled over here or here or here right the cursor will be here here and here first it will be here then it will go here and then it will go here right so any case uh, whatever is the facility available you have to avail that but the basic uh, functionality or the basic way to solve the sum remains the same you have to fill in digits over here so that you get the final answer as this so now there are a few things you should remember it is time bound test secondly there are multiple answers to each question okay there are multiple ways in which you can uh, reach the answer more important is to reach the answer in a time bound manner in a faster manner quicker manner and accurately also remember that the rule of bed mass bed mass means first is brackets are to be solved then exponential then division then multiplication then addition and then subtraction so whenever you fill in the digits and try to solve it to get the answer you have to follow the rules of bed mass okay and multiple answers will show i'll show over here how uh, this question itself has two or uh, two answers okay two different answers let us try to see over here now this is plus blank so i'm adding something to get six so i have to add a less than six only if i add seven eight or nine addition will be greater than six because here there is no subtraction or anything like that okay and answers are all integers so if i add one okay if i add one over here i have to get five over here by these two numbers how can i get 5 5 divided by 1 5 divided by 1 but i can use 1 only once so i've already used 1 over here so i can't have 5 divided by 1 over here so 1 is not useful okay if i keep this circle as 2 okay if i keep 2 over here i should get 4 over here how can i get 4 8 divided by 2 i can get 4 but that is not possible because 2 i have already used so i cannot divide 8 by 2 so again 2 is not useful if i fill this blank with 3 right what i can do is i should get 3 over here how can i get 3 6 divided by 2 so 6 divided by 2 plus 3 will give me 6 how 6 divided by 2 is 3 plus 3 will give me 6 right so all uh, all three different digits are used over here and we got the answer other way to solve instead of 3 if i say put 4 over here so in these two places what i should get is 2 okay how can i get 2 over here if this is 4 how can i get to 8 oh, i can i can do like this 2 divided by 1 okay 2 divided by 1 so i can have 2 divided by 1 right plus 4 would be equal to 6 how 2 divided by 1 would be 2 plus 4 would give me 6 see multiple answers to same question it is more important to solve as many as possible as quickly as possible okay it's very easy it is just time bound so that makes it difficult in this digit challenge since it is time bound test we have to make sure that we get the answer like this and each of the digit is used only once okay now sometimes what happens is that you might be given a uh, you might be a, given a setup like this or they give you they might give you a setup like this the equation will be written over here okay plus would be equal to 26 and numbers would be printed on this right and you might have to click on uh, 7 8 and 9 you have to click on the numbers so that they get uh, filled or inputted over here or you may click over on these numbers they get filled over here right so based on that you have to solve now there might be multiple answers so here i'll just solve and try to solve and find only one answer to it now i want to get 26 okay each digit i can use only once or only i need only three digits but i can't repeat the digits 
so how how can i get 26 very easy now i can do 5 into 5 that is 25 plus 1 equal to 26 but 5 gets repeated that is not allowed only once i can use so what i can do is 4 into 6 is 24 plus 2 is 26 so 4 into 6 is 24 by bed mass rule okay first division this is b is for bracket exponential d is for division then multiplication then addition and then subtraction then 4 6 are 24 24 plus 2 is 26 i can do 6 plus 2 is 8 8 4 are 32 that is not allowed first multiplication will be there then addition will be there so 4 6 are 24 plus 2 will give me 26 so this is one possible answer for the question in the motion challenge it is sort of a puzzle game okay it is uh, actually very easy you know what you uh, you'll know very quickly what you need to do only thing over here is what they try to check is the number of steps you take to solve the puzzle okay they should be least and you should do it in a time bound manner generally time is not used over here but a uh, number of steps should be least okay now over here what happens is that this is a ball and this is a hole and this ball has to be put in this hole right now there are movable parts in this entire grid these colorful parts which are there these are movable one two three and four these four are movable blocks this gray part which is there it is not movable and you cannot bring those colored blocks on these gray parts okay these are like uh, blocking the way right so you can move this block up down or right side or left side based on the space available and then you have to make sure make a path for the ball to reach over here now over here you can observe the easiest part is to go over here and then reach over here but this block is in between this block is in between and this block is in between if we move them you can get the answer so let us see what the solution for this puzzle is in the first this is the question in the first step what you'll do is you'll move this blue block over here so a space gets vacant over here and uh, the ball has space to go in this direction next in the second step you move this block to the left hand side okay over here so shift it over here in the next step you move this block up okay it has moved over here so again a space has become empty for this ball now only this part remains so in the next step you will move this part this cannot be moved to the left because of this gray part okay so it has been shifted in the up direction now you can shift it in the above direction right now in exam or uh, in the interactive exam you can directly move the blocks using your mouse okay here i'm just giving you the puzzle so you can try or move over there but please don't do trial and error because that will increase the number of steps that you are taking and that is not a good thing they want least a number of steps so first think least steps so first think of a strategy and then start moving the blocks so you move this over here at the top in the next step you move it to the left so again the hole becomes open and the next step the ball moves from here to here right and in the final step it moves from here to here so it has reached over here so number of steps taken are 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 let's see another example of motion challenge now these gray blocks which are there these are immovable blocks you can't move them they are sort of blockages this orange blue green and purple blocks are movable blocks this red ball has to be put in this black ball okay uh, in the shortest possible uh, in least number of steps or shortest possible way now if you see the best way we can put it put the put up uh, put this ball over here can be through like this but this block can move only up and down this block can move only left and right so it is very difficult to move the blocks you can but number of steps required are more so let us see what are the least number of steps in which we can move this ball over here this is the question that is being given in the first step we'll just move this blue block up okay over here so a space or a little bit space becomes available next now over here this black hole or which is there which is, it is being blocked by this green one as well as this purple one but moving this green one is not possible because this green one can't shift below because of this immovable block it can't shift to the left because of this orange block so best option is to move this purple block so in next section what we'll do is in the next step we'll move the purple block to the left over here it will come 
so now the space that remains for the ball is open so now in the next step ball can go over here in the next step the ball moves to the top over here it comes over here and in the next step it will move to the right it is coming over here in the last step it reaches the top okay so number of steps taken are one two three four this is the fifth and this is the sixth in six steps you can move the ball thank you for watching the video if you want to practice more such questions then we have launched our newly updated capgemini specific package according to the new pattern we'll be providing hundreds of game based aptitude questions with solutions in our package so if you are interested make sure you check the description the link for the package is given in the description of this video so, and if you have liked this video don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our youtube channel with the bell icon for instant notification thank you